So let's say that you want to achieve something and as you pursue this achievement you will see more and more people that have great accomplishments within this thing. It could be anything. Skateboarding, basketball, mastering the game. It could be having different skills within the game. And the ego can often be recognized as something outside of yourself that you can calm down and learn to live with. But you will realize that the ego that you can experience will be limited to your universe. It will be limited to the things that you know about and the things that you are aware of. And of course the ego will look different in different experiences. But it's simply just a mindset that will stand the first in line based on what you are thinking about. It will be one positive and one negative and neither of them will necessarily be the most ultimate beneficial way of looking at anything for you. But you will learn to recognize them. It's simply just a part of your awareness. Let's say that you want to become good at basketball. So that is what you focus on and you will probably start uh, noticing a lot of people that are good at basketball. When you recognize the ego as holding a positive and a negative for you, it would never benefit you to go with the negative one. The negative could, of course, bring into awareness something about yourself and your program that you can change and you can learn to know yourself better. But to stick with that negative programming that now came into your awareness will never be beneficial. It's negativity and it will create more negativity and you will become a master of negativity. The positive one will not necessarily benefit you. It could be a, a ego-based positive. It could simply be an uncentered, immature positive. But if you stick with neutrality, you will be able to have a centered, mature positivity. A centered, mature, freeing, healthy, root-based positivity that can take you as far as you want to go. You will, of course, change your mindset along the way as you recognize a healthier, better mindset. But neutrality and what you attract in neutrality will always have it healthy roots and will always present you with a beneficial mindset that will take you further, that will let you mature and be free. So let's say that you are out on the basketball field and you can now see someone that are very good at basketball. You realize right away that they are better than you and you want to be the best. Well, then your ego will present you with a positive and a negative. But the positive doesn't need to be beneficial in this case. It can be an immature positive. The negative one could be that, oh no, here are someone that is better than me. And you might not even wish them well. You want to be the best. And it only makes you upset to even see someone that is better than you. The positive mindset that would give you more freedom than the negative one could give you an idea that well they have probably done it for 30 years. You have only done it for one year. Technically you are probably a lot better than them. In 30 years you could probably do way 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 better than what they are doing after 30 years of practice. You will see it's not really a healthy mindset. It's not really something that truly brings you happiness and joy and contentment. But it could release you more from a harder breakdown in that moment. 
it could let you have a better experience than if you went with the negative one. If you chose to go with the neutral mindset, you could get the idea that I want to be really good at basketball. And now I'm resonating with people that are really good at basketball. My world is getting filled with inspiration and people that I can look at to better understand how to become really good at basketball. It will be a neutral mindset with healthy roots that will give you freedom, that will allow you to be truly happy about it. And there will be nothing in that neutrality that gives you a little anger or a little jealousy of these people that are so good at basketball. You will appreciate them. You will want to observe them and learn from them. And you will wish them all the best. Because if you wish them all the best, then you are spending time giving your energy to greater things, to success. So what are you really doing if you give in to the negative side of the ego? Or simply just a negative mindset about someone being very good at basketball when you want to be maybe even the best well, you want to be the best at basketball and what you are giving your time and energy and attention to is first and foremost negativity around being good in basketball. If you were wise and smart and fearless, you would appreciate it. You could be grateful to see that there are others like you that care about the same thing others that you can get inspiration from. I'm sure you have a lot to learn about basketball. Maybe they have a lot to teach you. Maybe you can observe and gain more awareness, more knowledge. Maybe you even can play with them and get a really good match. So in a world where what you give is what you get, what you focus on will grow. You will never comprehend what a little negativity here and there really does for you. You will never comprehend how negative it really is. You're playing a card game and if you lose two times in a row, well, you better be happy about it. You can't go angry and be unhappy and start energizing losing. Like I mentioned in the other video, the roots have to be healthy or else you will mess up your game. And it will be your choice. And the more you do it, the better you will get at it. And uh, there really is no limit to how negative you can be in this game. And it will take over your life. It will really turn your life upside down. You need to stay aware. What the roots could possibly make you experience things in the way you are now. Even if it's good or bad, follow the experience back to the roots and see what you are basing your mindset upon. Be grateful if you see people that are better than you in things and appreciate it. Be grateful. Now you're resonating with great things.